Leo, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here to give you your reading, love. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, astronauts, pick a node. It doesn't matter to me. I love you all. Okay? Cross watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments. I love you too. Leo, if you found the message or the message found you, please know that there's something in there for you, love, or a seed to be planted for tomorrow. Leo, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. I thank you for likes, shares, subscribes, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so very much. Truly, I appreciate you. You want to hear me use the terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have, or pay that no mind? Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. We're pulling some energy from the Sacred Rebel for Leo. Leo. Leo, I can't tell if somebody is saying shh or like blowing a kiss. Leo, please. Thank you. Receiving. Huh. Okay. Uh, number 27 here for the numerology studiers. 26 at the bottom of the deck. Uh, synchronicity is here. Uh, relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. So let's talk about receiving. Um, receiving uh, spiritual uh, mm, mm, um, replenishment um, from the most high is at a time when you feel completely drained. You know what I'm saying? And you just need that spinach, that Popeye spinach that give you that strength and the will and the drive and, the, you know, to get you going, you know, get your mojo back. Um, this comes at a place where uh, either you feel drained because of uh, people, places and things, or you've really been cleansing a lot of your energy. And so now uh, there's space uh, that uh, room that you've made so that... Um, you can be poured into. Does that make sense? All right. Now, the relax the hold of darkness and be it calls. Let's talk about that because that's pretty significant. And I'm going to leave this here. Like I said, uh, the ones that have been extremely um, adamant about uh, cleansing, um, yeah, I want to say it like that, uh, spiritual cleansing, um, and uh, you're being poured into, okay? Replenished, restored, um, empowered, things like that. Uh, because you have portal energy coming, regardless to what receiving is to you, that's what this is. The thing about this portal, it's a mother lover. I ain't gonna lie. Whew. Okay. Uh, this portal requires a couple of things for you to pass through successfully. Number one, it requires that cleansing. She is completely bone naked. That means nothing and nobody goes with you. Now, um, when I say that, do I mean don't talk to nobody, don't speak to nobody, and walk around naked? No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm just saying, Leo. All right? Okay. Um, I don't want to see no Erica Badu videos on Leo, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> All right, too much. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, um, but she's completely naked. Why? Because, you know, at this point, you're presenting yourself to the most high vulnerable. You know, like, this is who I am. This is what I, 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 I I'm, this is all I am. This is what I got. I'm working with, this is what I'm working with. You know, it is what it is at this point. I have completely, I, I'm, I'm bearing myself, um, completely naked because I'm ready. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm ready. That's what this energy is saying. Like uh, she's on the ready. She's like at the starting line of this portal, like as if she was, is getting ready to run a relay race or something like that. Um, and she's going up, you know, not forward up. All right. Now the beautiful thing is for you to get this 
uh, transformation or this edification here, you have to be completely grounded. She's on a tree stump, okay? Uh, completely grounded. So understand that what you have coming in, whoever's been doing this cleaning, this cleansing, um, and receiving the replenishment, it's uh, to get you ready for this portal. Now, this portal comes in, it's not fast. That's the thing about it. That's what makes it funky. This energy can have you, honestly, on standby, kind of like if you're, if you're, uh, you, you have a, a stand for a picture and they say smile and you're like waiting for them to click the camera and your cheeks start hurting. You understand what I'm saying? That's how this portal works. That's why the saying is relax the hold of darkness and be at cause. While you're in limbo or waiting or, you know, relax. Keep yourself calm. It's coming. You understand? Don't let an idle mind be the devil's playground. And don't let your vulnerability play with you either because you're still covered, protected, and highly favored. You understand what I'm saying? See, the new you, shock of the new right under here, number six, um, is going to be extraordinary, extraordinary gifts and talents and uh, blossoming. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, emphasis on her eyes to be honest I don't know I don't I know you guys can't see it but they're two different colors one is brown one looks like greenish or blue or something like that it's just you're going to have uh, everything is just going to be brand new about you everything my love everything from top to bottom I like it I like it a lot let's put a spread down uh we're going to use secret today <laughs> Um, in the meantime, you're going to, um, there's some finances here as well. Um, it's not a lot though. It seems to be like, um, hmm, what you need when you need it, if that makes sense. Yeah. I want to say it like that. What you need when you need it. Center energy, please for Leo. seven of swords i apologize guys for the dog barking my uh, patio door is open um seven of swords talks about uh deceit um not being fully aware not being fully advised um not getting all the information you know he's hiding three i'm sorry he's hiding five um swords here but he's owning two you know <clears throat> excuse me Aries just had this energy undermining them. Um, so this can be a couple of things. It could be not completely uh, advised on a situation or um, hmm, I have to say not completely uh, taking accountability, you know what I mean, for whatever it is that's going on. Um, owning your part in a whole, not just pieces of it, you know? Excuse me. Whatever or whoever this is, Divine sees, you know, your, your, your angels see, your angels know, they know. Um, so I have to say for a lot of you that this is you either not being fully aware or accountable for some type of information or event in your life. Um, only because number one, divine sees it. Number two is the requirement for your edification requires vulnerability. So if this is you, you're going to have to own these swords. All right. It got to come out. Crown the energy, please, for Leo. Five of cups reverse. I love that. Now we talking. So what's crowning you is the freedom of guilt, the freedom of regret, the freedom of shoulda, woulda, coulda, you know? So let's own it now and release it because it's going to set you free emotionally, spiritually, obviously, you know what I'm saying? Um, and allow you to have a clear head, you know? What's undermining Leo right now, please? What's undermine? Thank you so much. All right. We got a Knight of Pentacles. So we got a turtle with hemorrhoids and a Queen of Cups. All right. <sighs> Um, 
Knight of Pentacles, you, like I said, this is my turtle with hemorrhoids. I love the energy, don't get me wrong. It's uh, so solid. A Knight of Pentacles is coming. You understand me? He coming, he coming with that pentacle, and he going to stand 10 toes down on it. The problem is that um, I might be old and gray, and well, that's too late. Um, <laughs> No, but it's a very slow energy, you know. I, I have to say, though, that coming with this Queen of Cups, it's, it's almost as if like solely, mm, um, Leo, that maybe you're not as quick to, uh, how can I say this? Because um, the Queen of Cups the, the is unconditional love, you know. Um she feels like it's like you're slowly slow to to give love to areas of your life that you're not proud of. I'm going to say it like that. Or let's say areas of your body that you may not think is attractive. Things like that. This uh, is slowing you down. Okay. I need you to wholeheartedly love every bit of you. Good, bad, and indifferent. You know, and um, if that relates to you, then that would be the deceit that you're not taking accountability for. And uh, taking that accountability is giving you this freedom. You know what I mean? Where's this coming from for Leo? What brought this on? Four of Swords in reverse. You didn't stop and think. You didn't really think things through. Something um, you did too fast. You acted before, you know, you spoke or whatever the case was. You know what I'm saying? Something you did, emphasis on home here. You might have made a, uh, you might have moved too soon. If, if that makes, if you had a recent move, um, yeah, yeah, I, okay, two years, year or two, I guess I have to say, but I'm here in two years. Um, yeah, if you, it's kind of like two years ago, but you moved within four months or something like that. Um, but whatever it was, you kind of really didn't think it all the way through or didn't take all things into account. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I want to leave it like that. Where's this going for Leo? Two of Pentacles. What you going to do? Yeah. What you going to do? Because <sighs> five of wands at the bottom of the deck. Um, I have to say that now, whatever this is, it now involves other people. Mm. So it's, it's, it's as if now, what if you decide to, let's say, own whatever this accountability is, whatever you move too soon about, because you want the freedom, um, it might be, you might think that it seems selfish, you know? So you kind of toss it back and forth. Am I being selfish, you know? Is this going to cause, you know, and that's the inner conflict that, you know, so you're going to have to follow your, the answer to that is to follow your intuition, high priestess, um, to really pursue what it is that you want, t t Ten of Pentacles. What is it that is valuable to you? Family, finances, um, togetherness, um, things like that, you know, you're going to have to really dig deep with this high priestess energy to assist you with this conflict within yourself. Okay. Because uh, it seems that you know what is important to you with the queen of pentacles and you want this new beginning. Boomstick. Hello. Come on, Leo. But your new boomstick, you're saying, am I, you know, or am I being betrayed or am I betraying somebody? That's kind of like how this feels. It's, mm, you almost feel like either you're slow to love yourself more than your situation, or you feel like it's some kind of betrayal on somebody that you do love if you make this move, you know, this power move. So you feel like I'm kind of stuck. You're kind of just maybe waiting for something to happen to make you move. <laughs> if that is, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the, that's how this feels. That two of swords. Look, three of wands. <laughs> Woo! Come on 
Lord, I love my squad, I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, this is you just waiting for something to happen. Like, you don't want the responsibility or accountability of making a choice. So you waiting for something to happen to say, I did it because of that, if that makes sense. That's why I made that final decision, judgment. And that's why I'm leaving. Leo, you punk. I love you, but that's some punk behind crap. <laughs> I love y'all so much. The moon is here because these are hidden emotions, guys. I know this is probably something you'll never admit. And don't worry, it's just us, okay? We talking. Um, but I think secretly, you just either, you, you're pursuing bigger, better, brighter, um, more abundant. You know what I'm saying? You just want new life. I think that's just what you want. You want new life and newness of life um, and the elevation of life. And you want all of those things, even if you don't know what they are, or where they coming from. You just know there's more, there's better, there's brighter. You know what I'm saying? And you want to go get it. You want to make the move with this two of wands because you know you can make it and have these things with this star energy, Aquarian energy here. Um, which means complete emotional fulfillment, King of Cups. Um, yes, independence and confidence uh, with the Queen of Wands. Divine clarity with the Ace of Swords. Would you come on if you come in? And a little playtime with this Knight of Wands. Come on, Leo. I love it. The, but how you handle it is up to you. Um, in order to get it, it seems that you're going to have to be accountable or make a move or make a decision um, if you want to expedite this process. And others of you, it seems that you're waiting for like, if you make one wrong move, that's it, I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? And if that's the case, then so be it. You know, no judgment here. Okay. I hope this helps guys. If any event, none of it resonates for you, it's okay. Check out your moon and rising. Don't take the energy with you if it's not yours though. Leave it here for another Leo. Okay. Thumbs up, subscribe, make sure you're notified of future readings. All right. And remember collectively, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.